Good morning. It is about 6.30 and I'm going to take you through a daily routine in the life of a stay-at-home parent of three children. So let's go. My morning routine is basically getting dressed and throwing my hair up into a bun because I don't really do anything else with it. A lot of people will say, oh, your hair is so long, why don't you curl it or anything like that. It's morning time, I don't wanna curl it. I don't even put on makeup first thing in the morning. It's, yeah, I wouldn't even say it's a rare thing that I do, it's just something I don't do, period. So, that's my hairstyle for as of right now. Let's go get the kids. Oh, I see you snuck downstairs and got your iPod last night, huh? Okay. What up? Two to go. I can hear my son already. Good morning. Three's turn. Good morning. <gasps> Peekaboo. Good morning. Good morning to you. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's go. There's the poppers. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, you want to come? Let's go outside. Come on. Everybody's just getting donuts this morning. So for lunchtime, my oldest is getting the clementine, the snack pack, juice, fruit snacks, and a bologna sandwich. And then my son is getting a pancake and some chips. And you might be like, there's such a difference between the two. Well, my son has food sensitivities and 99% of the food that you and I would eat, he doesn't. So I'm just packing the things I know he will eat or hopefully eat today at school because this is his first cold lunch at school that he is taking. Here it is. Bye. My bike is old, I bought it used, it creaks, it makes a lot of noise, but it's something I do pretty much at the bare minimum every other day. Yeah, it makes a lot of noise. Is it annoying? Absolutely. But it gets the job done. The machine on it doesn't work like it turns on, but it doesn't work even after I've tried to replace the batteries on it numerous times. But you know, such is life. My husband is actually a certified fitness coach uh, or a CFL, certified fitness leader through the Navy. He has been for years. He actually redoes it every year just to like, I guess, renew his qualification. But um, these are the exercises that he shows me personally to do. I haven't gotten on this thing in a long time, so. Mm. My physical therapist makes me do this to try and strengthen my core because I, he says I have a weak abdomen area. I mean, he's not wrong. As you can see, my feet are crazy. This really works. My quads. Oh my God. This has me sweating like crazy already. And I only did 10 minutes on the bike and I'm sweating more now on this than I was on my bike. <laughs> oh gosh. This 
one that I'm about to show you, I'm doing with just a regular stool. Do not use this on a stool that can fold up on itself for storage saving space because you're poor, more than likely going to hurt yourself because it's going <laughs> to go kerplunk on you in the middle. Of these step ups, reverse lunges, whatever. So you can actually hold hand weights while you're doing this, but I don't want to today. So it's up and slowly come down up and slowly come down and that's working all of this right here yes i know i can feel it in my knees but it's not as bad as if i was trying to do more lunges with my kettlebell to which i only do 10 at a time so In your face lunch time so for lunch time kind of counterproductive but i'm doing a pizza french bread thing and my protein shake now you might be like, oh my god, this is so counterproductive of you to do. Yeah, probably, but it's healthier than what I had been eating and pretty much everything else I was doing about mm, eight weeks ago, which was literally nothing but fast food consisting of Taco Bell. I hate Burger King, but I do like their fries. Mostly Taco Bell, though. Definitely a lot of Taco Bell. Okay, real talk for just a minute while this cools down. If you're just following or seeing my video, hi, how are ya? Um, optimum, optimum Nutrition. If you see this, sponsor me. We'll work something out. This is actually my favorite because anything else like isopropylene or whatever that tastes like sidewalk talk to me. So, while this cools off, let me just take you through the weight loss journey I have been on real quick in case you're new here. Um, a couple of months ago, I topped out, besides being pregnancy weight, um, at 214.4. Really the highest I have ever been. I have been seeing a nutritionist every month. And I, am, I go back Friday, this Friday, to see her. And I'm very, I'm hoping that I am under the 200 pound mark because the last time I had seen her, I was, I had not gained anything, but I hadn't lost three weeks ago, three and a half weeks ago. So I'm hoping to be back down to like 195 because I know I can feel that I've lost weight in my clothing, maybe not so much in my arms, but like in my butt and in my love handles you know a little bit not a lot but i can feel the difference may not be able to physically see but i really f compared to where i was eight weeks ago with just binge eating and emotional eating nothing but fast food no veg hi baby no vegetables or fruits, hardly. I mean, fruit was eh, but more so vegetables. I just, um, I've come a long way because I was teaching my kids bad habits and they were following in those bad habits. Right, Jeff? She don't care. You might be wondering if I have given up eating my favorite foods. No, I have not. And let me tell you why. The more I try to give something up, the more I find myself running back to what I'm eating. 
or what I shouldn't be eating. So one of these is good. For dinner time, it'll be like chicken, turkey sandwich, something along those lines, something lighter in the evenings because I like to eat all my heavy carbs during, I like to eat heavier carbs during the day, not so much in the evening, but that's just me. Um, not saying I won't, but it's all about moderation. There's really no such thing as a, a bad food, a bad carb, because all carbs turn, turn into sugar. I also haven't fully decided what I wanted for dinner yet. I'll decide when I come across that bridge. Now, also too, I have not given up any of my Coke products, Mountain Dew, anything like that, because again, I don't want to eliminate the things that I love completely out of my diet because I really feel the more I try and do that, the worse I'm setting my success, the more I try and feel that I'm doing that, the more I'm wanting it. So that's why I haven't had a pop in three days. This would be my first one in three days. I haven't had one since Friday and today is Tuesday. No, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. And today is currently Tuesday as I'm filming this. But I'm, I'm very excited to see what my nutritionist says because counterproductive, absolutely. Do I care? No. So my daughter made me Cinnamon Life cereal. She gave me some grapes and blueberries and also um, a glass of water because she's sweet like that. So this is going to be my dinner for the night. I was going to have salad with cheese and turkey and all that, but uh, I'd rather have this meal because she made it. See you guys later. Bye.